All right, so um, today what we're going to be doing is kind of take, we're stepping out of floor plan a little bit, and we're going to start moving into setting up what our schematic, uh, basically what our schematic design set is going to be. Um, so that, in case you're curious, the schematic design set is what's going to be due at the midterm. That's essentially going to be your midterm project. And a schematic design set is, you know, it's, it's basically everything that you see in the PDF set minus all the technical detailing. Kind of. Um, so there will be floor plans, there will be a roof plan, there will be some elevations, and we'll probably will get to the point of actually having some simple building sections. But it won't have all the detail that you see here. Are okay. Doing the electrical? No. Yeah. No. Um, so anyway, what we're going to start with today is developing the elevations, and the elevations are going to be pretty simple. Um, we're going to just kind of make sure that we have all the visibility correct first, um, but first I need to show you kind of creating and controlling how you want to work through your certain views. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's get started with creating an elevation sheet. Um, so you guys already know a little bit about creating the sheets. I'll kind of reiterate for you. Um, wow, you can't see. This is not very calibrated over there. Got that. Odd. All right, um, so we're going to start off with uh, creating a new sheet. And generally speaking, architectural documents have kind of like a numerical system that breaks it out by uh, the hundreds, kind of, generally. Um, so we have A101 and 102 is for our floor plans. We're going to use a, um, let's jump to, let's see, we're going to have RCP roof plan on four. Yeah, let's do four. Um, we're going to say A401 for our exterior elevations. So right click, go to new sheet. Just hit OK on the standard title block. And uh, you can go straight to your properties menu and edit this. So um, I'll let you fill out the rest of the information. But the important part is A401 and the sheet name we're going to call Exterior Elevations. Those are, the two, those are almost always the two most critical uh, things that you need to fill out. Questions yet? All right, so what I want you to do real quick is I want you to take uh, these um, elevations and I'm, um, uh, how do I want to describe that? I'm debating something here internally. Yeah, let's just put them on the sheet. Let's put them on the sheet. We might swap them out later. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're going to have an east elevation, a north elevation. And they're all going to look pretty crappy right now. South elevation and a west elevation. Oops. All right, so we've got a lot of formatting to do. Um, but what I want to kind of start off with before we actually even format these things is um, I want you to understand the relationship of these things. So assuming all things um, equal, right? So let's, let's take these things and kind of just move them up into white space. Um, All right, so I don't I don't know exactly what order I drop them in, but I want you guys to know. Um, are you are you familiar with the term parallel projection or orthographic projection? Mm -hmm. Some some people are okay. So orthographic projection is basically the orientation of views to each other. Um, uh, if you look at something like a simple block. You have a, uh, a front view, a side view, and a top view. And basically, the front view, side view, and top view is exactly like you're looking at it if you were to turn it 90 degrees and look at the side. So if you're looking at the front view and you turn it 90 degrees, then you're looking at the left, uh, to the right, I should say, then you're looking at the left side view. If you turn it 90 degrees to the left, then you're looking at the right side view. So with elevations, we have to do the same thing. The um, front and right side, right, is essentially going to be uh, synonymous with, say, your south side elevation and your east side elevation. So generally speaking, all things being equal, we want to have uh, the orientation of our views be the same sort of condition as much as we can. So um, if we're looking at, let's start with the south uh, elevation here, right? This is our south elevation. Oh, I still have that. Um, Thing in there. Whoops. Um, so this is our south elevation where we have the uh, the sloping roof kind of going down the T shape. Um, 
next to that, you need to have your east elevation on the right-hand side and your west elevation on the left-hand side. So we take the east elevation, which is this, um, and we put it over here on that side. So um, when you move it, guys, I want you to be aware that this little double um, blue, or this line, excuse me, this dotted blue line means that it is level with the other elements on the page. So this level is level with the level one of that view. Does that make sense? Uh, anyway, so now you can realize very easily that when I'm looking at the building here from the south view and I turn it 90 degrees to the right, I basically just swing that view out and I can see it here on the right-hand side. Does that make sense? Yes, Kevin. All right, so that's a convention that we use. Um, the other one here, we're looking at the north view, and if you swing the um, other side, yeah. Um, if you swing the uh, west side view out to the right, it's going to show up over there. Does that make sense? Yes, no? Okay. Um, so, again, these are just a convention. When you put them on the page, they're going to be oriented somewhat in that way, okay? So um, you don't have to put any one on top or below, but when they are next to each other, you want to you want to basically um, conform to that convention as much as possible. It's not always possible. Okay. Um, so uh, real quick, guys, I just I, before we start doing any kind of like scale things or anything like that, I want you to control the levels. Um, you can double click into the view and just kind of pull the levels into the building a little bit. It's going to make it a lot easier for us to really lay out the page a little bit more cleanly. That looks good. That looks good. All right. Any questions? Yes. We will, eventually, yes. Any other questions? Okay.